Welcome to Trend Watch, your up to the minute source for the latest in fashion and style. On this episode, you'll get an exclusive look at a must see romantic drama hitting the box office this season. And a holiday makeover that's sure to catch your eye. Hi, I'm Minnie Anden. Kira Knightley and James McAvoy star in a romantic drama that takes the viewer on a turbulent journey of love, fear, and accusations. England, 1935. It's the eve of World War II and the fate of three people hangs in the balance in this season's romantic drama, Atonement. I love you. Come back to me. Kira Knightley stars as a young woman named Cecilia Tallis. Her lover, played by James McAvoy, is falsely accused of a crime by Cecilia's younger sister. These accusations lead to a series of events that alter each of the characters' lives forever. You saw him? Yes, I saw him. I know it was him. You know it was him? I saw him with my own eyes. The tale twists and turns through several decades as the characters search for peace and happiness. It's about a young and foolish girl who sees something which she doesn't understand, but she thinks she does. Yet each continues to be haunted by the past. The film proves love is everlasting, making it a must-see on everyone's list. The 1960s served as inspiration for the beauty trends seen in a number of the resort collections. Makeup artist Kathy Young shows us how to create the metallic look of the season. Today we're going to recreate a look that we saw on the runway and it's perfect for holiday. It's a retro 60s eye but it's soft and it has a soft shimmery metallic feel. Kathy first fills in the eyebrows with pencil to create a soft shape. Next, eyeshadow is applied with a lightly moistened brush. What you're going to do first is do an outline, a little bit of a stencil, just to kind of make sure that your shape is round rather than cat eye, so it has the 60s feeling. A great tip to get the darker shadow into the crease of the eyeshadow is to either lift your eyebrows or you can pull it up with your finger. And what that does is stretch the skin and give you an even surface to add the color and to blend it. A dry brush with the same shadow is now used over the stenciled line to feather it upward and out. I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the crease, but I'm going to go along the outer lash line and I'm going to join the two lines. Next, under the lower lash line, a line is drawn from the center of the eye outward. Then, silver metallic eyeshadow is applied. Now we're going to put more silver on the inside corner of the eye, and that'll really widen and pop the eyes out and give it a really interesting, great for holiday look. Really important before doing mascara is to curl the eyelashes. Now the lashes are ready for mascara. What's a good tip for this look is to use the wand horizontally as well as vertically, and that way you can get really thick, spiky lashes. What's nice to do with this eye is to do very little foundation so you keep the skin showing through. I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer with a little hint of orange and what that does is conceal the blue for dark circles. A bronze blush is applied in a circular motion followed by a peachy pink to the apples of the cheek. And the final touch is lip gloss which is in kind of a fleshy pink color. So this is a shimmery eye look for holiday. Thanks for watching Trend Watch on ShopVogue.tv. Be sure to tune in to more episodes and don't forget to shop the shows.